we're going to throw you some some picks here. Okay. What what things do you focus on on your picks? So we've got the setup, yep. and now we're going to talk about picking the baseball. Okay. What is your setup and thought process when you go to pick pick baseballs? My setup and my thought process when I go to pick baseballs is keep my eyes and my head down on the ball. Because you can't pick anything you can't see. Yep. Right into my pocket. Okay. And with that, I have to start low. Make sure my glove is already here. That way I can work my way up instead of being high and then trying to work my way down. Now I noticed you went thumb down. Yeah. I don't know how you guys describe it, but that's something you think about. That is something I think about. Depending on the throw, for me, the throw basically gets you in what position you need to be in the pick. So anything I say, anything that was more this way or past my, my lead foot, I forehand, anything that's say here, inner, inner part of my, my, my leg, I backhand. It's just a lot easier to backhand than forehand. For Great. Me. I've noticed yeah. uh, through talking to other first basemen, they like to be backhand heavy yeah. if possible. Yeah. Why is your backhand better to use than your forehand? Just for me, it's just it's an easier, it's an easier mechanism because everything's already open for you. Your pockets there, it's just it's more natural to go this way than this way for me. There's some people who actually prefer the they prefer the other way, so they try to make you know their angle, the direction of forehand angle, you know, forehand angle. But for me, I try to turn everything into a backhand just because. I feel like I'm more relaxed when it comes to staying there and through the ball and allowing the best, you know, open space for it to go into my glove. Okay. So we'll do, we'll do some examples so you guys can see him in action. When I go to field these, my hand, I'm keeping this motion here and not making it violent. I'm trying to stay as soft as humanly possible, almost letting the pocket close my glove. When the ball goes into the pocket, let the, that closed my glove. With this, as you guys notice, every time that I go to get the ball, I keep my eyes on the ball and through it until I get through the zone. I don't ever pull my head off at the last second. You're actually more successful to get hit in your face when you're not paying attention and tracking it all the way into the glove. All right, guys, that, uh, that about wraps it up here. I would say that's a basic setup for a first baseman. We, we will go into further detail on more of the technical stuff for you guys later. But uh, if you guys have stuff you, you're wondering about and you want to ask us about, please leave, leave a comment in the, uh, in the comment box and we'll, we'll get to them as fast as we can. But thank you, Matt, for, for showing us that. And okay. uh, I look forward to going through some more stuff with you. Thanks.